And we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games are releasing. And as usual, it's me, Jake Baldino, and today we're talking about Sifu. This game is something else. It's for PS5 and PS4 and PC, and it's been on our radar since it was first revealed. Now, what seemed like a simple and stylish brawler kung fu game is actually something even cooler and more challenging and involved than you'd expect. If you're willing to put some time in and don't mind grinding to absolute perfectionism, you have a friggin' like absolute thrill ride of a game here, man. Uh, at the risk of sounding like probably every other review or person out there is definitely not for everyone but it, it's it really is not for everyone but it's still intriguing i'll explain why as we go and just so you know uh we've been playing a review copy of the game for about a week now and all of my footage here is captured on ps5 and is spoiler free now, Sifu is a story light revenge tale. Uh, as a young boy or girl, you get to choose, which is pretty cool, uh, you witness a family member murdered and then you train and grow up and set out to kill each member of the group that did it. Now, the game is structured pretty much into like five lengthy levels with a boss at the end. Uh, that might not sound like a lot, but believe me, I think unless you're an absolute god at video games and this clicks immediately for you, uh, then you're gonna be spending double digit hours in this game now it takes a second to explain it all but it's interesting and worth it so like you go through each tightly nicely designed level engaging in the combat uh, which is extremely challenging uh, but if you die you pretty much instantly come back but a year older now keep getting your ass kicked and you keep coming back older and older as the years stack due to certain parameters so as you get older you obviously look older but you also have less health and you hit a bit harder because you know like life experience and stuff uh, once you get too old and die in your 70s it's game over uh, man as you progress through the levels you're able to like use points to unlock new move skills unlock them multiple times and then you lock them in now the main move set is totally fine and good but some of these extra special moves are really useful especially for like very specific use cases uh, many of them are like kind of harder to pull off but sometimes worth it and as you age you potentially actually lose access to trying to unlock some of these uh, they actually get blocked out now I, I guess that's the game saying like you can't teach an old dog new tricks which if you think about it is really clever uh, you can also find little statues that you can spend points like XP to unlock stuff uh, like stronger weapon use more block meter stuff like that now, if you complete a level, you unlock and start the next level at the age you were at the end of the previous level. So you're only ever as good as your last best playthrough. Uh, if you don't want to start a level as a 60 year old man who can die in a few hits and get game over after just a few encounters, you're gonna want to go back and replay previous levels and really, really replay them over and over again and master them so you can finish it as a younger man or woman and start the next level as a younger man or woman way better off. And like, I mean really master them. The levels are nicely designed and cool and varied, but not procedurally generated. They're always the same, but always difficult with like these unpredictable enemies. So you're gonna be replaying and grinding out bosses a lot, hoping to come out on top in better shape for your progression forward. Now, it gets a little better because careful examination will unlock some shortcuts upon multiple playthroughs throughout the different levels. It's actually pretty creative how they implement that stuff, but it really only temporarily helps make things a little easier on you because you're still gonna end up just venturing your way to the end of the level and getting your ass beat again and again by like a specific boss or a character or whatever. I'll get more of that type of thing in a little bit, but the actual combat itself, like the sweet, sweet bread and butter of this game, it's so good. I love the combat. It's challenging and it's demanding where like even the lowliest enemy can mess you up in a few hits, uh, but you have a good set of tools at your disposal. You have light attacks, heavy attacks, a trip maneuver, a kind of push maneuver, a bit of a throw and items and weapons you pick up in the environment. Uh, you also have a meter that you can burn to do special attacks that you'll unlock that are usually unblockable, which is nice. Now, on the defensive side, which is really the bigger thing, uh, you can block and parry. Uh, there's a dodge that's really only good for specific moments and also the ability to weave kind of dodge high and low. Each of these things has specific use cases. Now, of course, 
You have a block meter that enemies are trying to erode, uh, but the enemies themselves also have them, so you're trying to wear theirs down, and then you can do sick-ass finishers on enemies. So these work great for also avoiding attacks and other incoming enemies because they act kind of like a cancel. Now, it, it may like look on screen like enemies are just attacking one by one, but Actually, most of the time, if your positioning is bad, they'll all try to pound on you at once. So you're constantly trying to bob and weave and block and parry dudes and try to continue to chain counter finisher to finisher to finisher. Now, it's really like a lot of challenging games. So there are a few enemies that are, just feel kind of like total bullshit until you crack the code. Like until you figure out exactly how to defend against them, they'll just spam blast you until you learn the ropes, including some of the bosses. Now, it is an incredibly rewarding combat system that always feels badass and satisfying. You know, the feedback is great, especially with the DualSense controller features, and it just makes you feel cool. Not to mention a lot of the fighting sound effects are absolutely perfect. The game has tons of like amazing encounters from wiping out clubs or drug dens, almost like John Wick style with your fists, to like really special old boy style hallway moments that kind of change the camera's perspective. Uh, even when you're getting your ass beat, like the game is just so impressive. The only thing that can be god awful is the camera itself. The camera is like gonna screw you over a lot. It can be frustrating. I noticed it especially during a boss battle or two where like it would just unacceptably obscure my vision for like a very key crucial second. Or in certain fights where characters can like do flying jump kicks from off screen. It's such a bummer for sure. And like there are some settings in the options menus, but it's just, I really hope they can clean this up with an update because otherwise I think the gameplay is near perfect, at least for me personally, just satisfying ass kicking that I was really hoping for with this game. Now, the levels and the moments are so cool and each and every individual one is so memorable that I enjoyed endlessly replaying these levels, even if it could be painful. Now, some folks out there listening might not find that that much fun and I totally understand, it's valid. There are other games where I, I don't wanna endlessly grind the same level just to get better. I want new experiences, but here in Sifu, I just love the combat and the insanity and the really cool cinematic style that I just kept going. I kept grinding because I wanted to see what was next. Every single room in every single level is completely different. There's always some new creative spin, whether it's something inspired by an old kung fu movie or an action movie or just something you've never seen before. There's always a new thing to see and do. There's always a new type of object to pick up and throw at a person's head. There's always a new way to completely get demolished and bulldozed by enemies. Like it, it's, it's just consistently entertaining, even if like you're a rage quitter like me. I think the aging loop and the combat mechanics and the tight level design is strong enough to justify the way the game is stretched out over the five levels, but hey, not everyone will agree. Just know what you're getting into here. The way I explained it, you might be like, oh, no way, that's not for me. Or you might be like, hell yes, let's go. Or you might be in between, like where I kind of was. I was excited for this game, but I was not really looking forward to the painful difficulty to see it through. But because everything about it was so solid top to bottom, I learned to persevere and absolutely love it. I think Sifu is an incredibly special game and I think, I know it's early, I know it's only February, but I think you're gonna see this on some people's uh, 2020 game of the year lists. It's going to be a busy year and there's a lot more, so like I know I might be jumping the gun a little bit, but I'm just trying to get across to you guys just how much I really like this one. But of course, that's a before you buy. You know how this goes by now, right? I give you some pros and some cons and some personal opinion, and now I wanna hear yours down in the comments. I don't really think maybe you've played a game like this before, but if you can think of something that's kind of like this, definitely let me know. There's lots of elements of other games here and there in it, but it's really unique. So I'd like to know what you think of it if you've jumped in. Uh, the game did kind of like go live a little bit early for some folks. So if you've been getting your hands dirty in this thing, definitely let me know what you think, whether you've been playing as a male or a female, uh, what some of your favorite unlockable moves are, maybe some of your favorite encounters early in the game. Try and keep it spoiler free. I didn't want to show anything too late here, but let's talk about anything Sifu or really any like cool action combat fighting games down in the comments, man. Now, if you enjoyed this video and maybe found it a little bit helpful and informative, all you gotta do is click the like button. We always say it, but we always really do appreciate it and it does help us out. We'll be down in the comments, but of course, if you wanna yell at me directly, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino or on my personal YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jake Baldino. But thank you guys for being here. Uh, subscribe if you're new because we put out videos every single day, but otherwise, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.
winner becomes a king, and the loser a thief. How many trials do I have left before meeting Sean? Two more challenges lay ahead.